Hi everyone, Charlene Ortiz here. I hope everyone is doing well. I know it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, unfortunately, uh, it's the same old story. I just haven't been feeling well. Uh, my sleep schedule has been really horrible, really off. And unfortunately, um, I still had to work. I'm still having to drive for Lyft. And so any energy that I have um, goes to that. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to sit down and uh, just do a little video for you guys um, and talk about just some of the recent drama that has been happening. Uh, some of it, you know, in the, the weight loss community. Um, <laughs> some of it I think is hilarious. Some of it I think is ridiculous, but all of it I think is um, unnecessary. I know that recently there's been kind of a falling out between Amy's life journey and life by Jen. Um, you all know how I feel about life by Jen. Um, that's someone I have zero respect for. Um, she's someone that infuriates me. Um, someone that has made zero progress. That's lazy, manipulative, selfish. I just, I, I don't like her at all. Um, and Amy's life journey, I'm actually just finding out about. Um, I did watch, I rate Alex's little documentary on her. Um, and she certainly doesn't seem like a stand-up citizen either. So, but anyway, I think the drama between the two of them is hilarious because I don't like either of them. And, you know, when two horrible people try to be friends, that's what's going to happen. So, and some people are siding more with Jen because they say Jen was just trying to be a friend and reach out to her. You know, I, I don't know, whatever. But here's the thing. With everything that's been going on um, with, you know, Life by Jen, Amy's Life Journey, Charlie Gold you know, all this drama and craziness. Um, if any of these channels truly were focusing on changing their lives and truly making an effort to lose weight and to make progress because they value their health and because they're mature, disciplined adults um, that are taking, you know, their um, weight loss journey seriously, None of this would be happening. Um, I know I've expressed in my last video that, um, Joey, stop eating that. Uh, I know I expressed in my last video that I'm really disappointed in Charlie Goad's channel because it's just become a reaction channel. And um, in the beginning, I absolutely adored her. Um, I gave her a shout out in my Fattopia video. Um, and, and I, I, I found her channel and um, gave her that, gave her a shout out before Michael B. Petty did, before even Obese to Beast and Every Damn Day Fitness did. Um, you know, I, I wasn't giving her a shout out because I wanted to jump on the bandwagon because she was like um, growing in popularity now or whatever. I, I sincerely loved her channel. I sincerely had a lot of respect for her. And I was really excited to see the impact that she was going to make in the weight loss community. I was excited to see how she was going to inspire people by documenting her progress. I was excited to see how she was going to put the fat acceptance community in check, you know, and um, just be that person that, that will shut them all up, you know, um, because she didn't victimize herself because she was black, because she was a woman, because she was obese you know, like the fat acceptance community did like, and I just love that about her. I love that about her. Um, I absolutely loved her video, the dark side of obesity. I thought it was very powerful, but the way that I found her, um, was through a video that she did where she was talking about her childhood and her time in foster care. And, um, it was such a powerful, heartbreaking video it really was just to hear what she'd been through what she'd suffered through and just to see that she seemed to be somebody that was still taking responsibility for her life um, regardless and she wasn't using her past to make excuses you know for why she was obese and why she had made poor choices when it came to her health and I just you know that that was just how I saw her at that time and then, um, obviously, she got that recognition 
from every damn day fitness from obese to beast and I, I was just so I was so excited to see where her channel was going to go. I was so excited, you know, just to see the impact she was going to make because I felt like we needed someone like her. We needed someone that, you know, had, you know, the story of, of childhood abuse and trauma. We needed someone that, um, you know, was was um, honest and um, well spoken and articulate and um, that was, you know, really going to. Um, be an inspiration to people because she was obese too but you know she's taking responsibility and she's gonna you know um really fight hard to make progress and blah 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 like i was very excited about it when they gave them her that recognition now um again i see that she's nothing but a, a reaction channel and people are still so inspired by her and lift her up and praise her constantly when she has made zero progress zero weight loss the same with life by jen um the amount of people that go and just give her ass pats for making zero progress i don't care if she lost 20 pounds a few months ago and I, I don't care i don't care she should by by now she should have lost 400 pounds and it's just you know she shouldn't even be where she's at she shouldn't be still in a wheelchair i don't care if she's making progress and trying to walk down the hallway i, I don't care you know, since she started her channel, the the lack of progress that she's made is shameful. And people still give her ass pats and still praise her. Um, even the, the videos that Charlie has, oh, I guess her name is Charlene. We, we share the same name. I never knew her name was Charlene, but I thought, I really thought it was Charlie, but I guess it's Charlene. But, um, but even the, the couple videos that that uh, I'm still going to call her Charlie, but the couple of videos that uh, Charlie has has shown us about with her workout and the activity that she was doing was, you know, very basic, very simple workouts. Um, something I would expect from somebody that's that's obese and, you know, just getting started. And the video she showed from five months ago to the video that she showed two months ago is a three month, obviously a three month in between. Or maybe it's been a month since I, I don't I can't remember exactly the, the one where she was doing the like the boxing with her trainer whatever um her activity level hasn't improved again the workouts are very simple very basic and if she was my client with the amount of time that um I started following her which would have been, I guess, back in um, maybe July or August. I can't remember exactly when, but in the summertime. Between that amount of time and where we are now in March, if she was my client and she was following, you know, the program that we had created for her, she would be doing amazing things by now. Absolutely amazing. And, and not just, and I'm not just talking about, you know, if she was just my client, I mean, any trainer's client, if she was any trainer's client, if she was, you know, really taking herself health seriously and really, um, you know, having self-control and, and trying to, you know, m make a positive impact in her life and try to sp inspire others, whatever, if she really was taking it seriously, um, she would have lost a significant amount of weight and it would have been very noticeable, very noticeable. And her activity levels would, would be amazing right now. And I know this because I've had morbidly obese clients, a lot of morbidly obese clients. I had one client that came to me and she was 300 pounds and she suffered with crippling, crippling depression to the point where um, she couldn't even drive. Like she had to take the bus and we worked together. Um, well, we worked together for uh, a couple years, but um, well, maybe longer. But anyway, within the, the first nine months that we worked together, she lost 100 pounds. And by by the end, by within nine months, um, she was able to actually go out running with me. And I'm, I'm not a fast runner, you know, um, I'm definitely not um, not somebody that would put myself up there with, you know, elite runners or anything. I can maybe do a nine or 10 minute mile. Um, but, you know, I, I'm someone that's, you know, in pretty good shape and I've been running, you know, for years, uh, for decades, I've been running. And within nine months, she was able to do a nine mile run with me. That is somebody 
that people should be praising and applauding. That is somebody who is taking their health seriously. That is somebody that's made tremendous progress, you know, for, for people to look at and say, wow, that is somebody I really want to be like. You know, and those are, the, those are the types of clients I've worked with. That's the type of progress that I've seen throughout my career, which is why when I see people like Charlie Gold, like Life by Jen, like um, you know, Amy's Life Journey, Chantal, you know, and, and they're, and, you know, they're just kind of spewing this bullshit, you know, about how, oh, they're trying or they're, they're you know, they want to inspire people. They want to lose weight. And it's been years, literally years. And they not only have made zero progress, but have actually gained weight. It's just, to me, it's astonishing. And because, because it's, it's obvious that they don't take their health and their weight loss seriously. They, I mean, they just don't care about it. And I have worked with clients um, that have dealt with incredible struggles emotionally, mentally, um, that had been through incredible trauma, you know, that had lost children that were battling cancer, that a client that had just I had a client that she had just lost her mom, who she was very close to, and she still stayed committed to her workout. I mean, so, I mean, th that's why to me, these types of excuses are laughable and it's bullshit as to why none of these people are losing any weight. Because think about it. If Charlie Gold was not a reaction channel and her channel truly was her sharing her progress and that's that was all her channel was. She was losing weight, making progress, um, making great choices, inspiring people. Nobody would, would have ever even taken the time to dox her because she would not have even been on anyone's radar for that reason. Um, nobody would have cared enough about her you know, to, to dox her and expose her, which are, you criminal, our criminal records are actually public records. So to me, doxing is when, um, somebody searches and, uh, for personal information, like your phone number, something that's not public information, um, whether your address, your phone number or something like it's not public information. A criminal record is public information. So, I mean, I don't know if that, if it's really doxing in the, in what I would consider doxing, but, um, and I could care less that she has a criminal record. I really don't care. <laughs> so what? Um, I've had tickets I haven't paid for. I don't know if there was a worn out for my arrest, but my license got suspended. Um, and I had to go to court and, you know, set a payment plan, but it's not a big deal. You know, I don't think it's, it, it's that big of a deal. Um, I don't really care, but the point is that if she, if her channel really was a positive channel, really focused on positivity instead of critiquing and bashing, you know, people like Amberlynn and Chantel and don't get me wrong. I love, I mean, I'll, I'll watch a good bashing of those two people any day. I despise them. I absolutely, um, think that they're despicable people. I could care whether I could care less if they, whether or not they die. Um, I think they're horrible, sick, evil, demented people. So it's not that I have a problem with people talking shit about them. Uh, cause they are awful people that have done awful things. But when you have a channel that is specifically focused on just critiquing and bashing someone and making fun of someone, that's not going to attract positive things it's it's only going to attract more negativity um i also want to talk about the whole situation of what happened with the uh, shaquana jefferson's channel or shannon you know i call her shannon because that's her name but and that whole incident that happened in september and i definitely have feelings about that you know on on both sides um I definitely felt that the comment that Shannon made was a very hurtful comment. I thought it was unnecessary. Um, I didn't find it to be racist. I did feel that her intent when she had made the comment about her skin, you know, being dark as shit or whatever. Um, I, I felt that what the point she was making is that, you know, why is she wearing makeup that is lighter than what her skin actually is? 
why can't she just, you know, like accept that her skin is that dark? You know, why, you, what, like, what's the problem? That was my impression when she had made that comment. Although she was responding to somebody else's comment, another black woman that had made those comments about Charlie's um, makeup or whatever. And, uh, you know, for me personally, I, again, I don't care about her makeup. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. You know, um, that's not something that I, I am going to, you know, comment on or, you know, I, I, I don't care. I mean, I don't care how silly it looks or whatever. It's, if that's how she wants to wear makeup, that's how she wears her makeup. Like it's not a big deal, but that's not something that, um, I guess I would feel the need to critique or criticize. To me, it's more about, you know, the fact that um, people were just praising her and all she was was a glorified reaction channel. To me, that was, that is the, the main point. Um, and everybody felt like um, Charlie was very classy in the way she dealt with it. And I completely disagree. Um, but in my, this, 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 this is my take on it. Had she responded in a classy, mature way that was, you know, the higher, taking the higher ground, she would have never posted that comment that Shannon made on Twitter. And she was very careful to make sure that she only posted what Shannon said, not what the um, original comment was that Shannon was responding. She was very careful not to post that because that was said by another black woman. And she knew when she posted that on Twitter, it was going to send a lot of hate Shannon's way. She knew that. And that's exactly what she wanted. She knew that Michael B. Petty and all these people that supported her would be there to back her up, would start talking shit about Shannon and sending hate her way as well. Um, she knew that was going to happen. And that's why she did it. It was exactly what she wanted. It was a very manipulative um, calculating and vengeful move. Now, I'm not going to say that it wasn't the natural thing to do. Um, if I saw somebody had made comments like that to me and I had no problem with, like I, it was somebody that I never had harassed or I, I never uh, criticized. It was just somebody that, you know, I'd never done anything to Yeah, I'd be furious too, too. And I would want to do the same thing. I'm not saying it wasn't a normal reaction, a normal response. It just wasn't the classy response. It wasn't the mature response. The mature response would have been either number one, to just ignore it. She's a small channel. Who cares what she has to say? You know, um, and how many people are really going to see that comment? Because it was a, a reply to another comment. Um... Yeah, you know, on a video that even didn't even really get that many views. I mean, so how many people are really going to see that comment? Who cares? You know, just whatever. If somebody wants to spew that kind of bullshit, whatever, who cares? So either number one, to ignore it or number two, to directly contact her or, or respond to that, respond to that comment and say, what's your problem? Why do you feel the need to say some really hurtful, hateful things about me? I've, I've never done anything to you. Like, like, what's your deal? That, to me, would have been the mature, classy way to approach it. Not to put it on Twitter to send a lot of hate her way. And she did. She got a lot of hate for it. And again, I don't agree. I didn't agree with her making that comment. I, you know, I, I thought it was a really um, shitty, hurtful thing to say. Um, I, I, I didn't agree with her making that comment. But the way Charlie responded to it was very calculating. Um, I'm going to tell you about a situation that happened to me, um, a while ago with, um, Steve Shaw, um, the channel massive, I think, I think it's called massive iron is the name of his channel. Um, but he had made a really hurtful, horrible comment to me. Um, I, I used to follow Steve Shaw. I, you know, subscribe to his YouTube channel. I followed him on Facebook. I, I really liked him a lot. I loved his YouTube channel. Um, I, um, he lived, he, he, he also lives outside of Dayton, Ohio, you know, where I lived for a while. My family lives there. So, I mean, I really liked him. I liked him a lot. I liked what he had to say about a lot of things. Well, anyway, um, he was doing a video series on uh, Jason Blaha. And I don't know, a lot of you guys might not know who that guy is. You can look him up and you'll see this guy is just a joke. 
he's kind of like a, a, a an Amber Lynn, you know, he's just a very, he's a liar, he's a pathological liar. Delu- anyway, the, the guy is just a ridiculous um, person. But he, I guess, had hired Jason Blaha to do some writing for a magazine that that Steve has or, or some, something like that. He had hired him to write some articles and it didn't work out. And so anyway, it, it's a series of videos that he did on Jason Blaha as to why it didn't work out and just, you know, what an idiot Jason Blaha really is. And I was actually kind of surprised that he even hired him initially, but whatever. So anyway, um, he was talking about what had happened and I had made a comment on one of the videos, I think it was the second video he had done on Jason Blaha. And I said, Steve, you should have hired me instead. Cause I've written some eBooks. I've written a book. I definitely would not consider myself a professional writer by any means, but I have written a few things. You know, I used to write things for gyms. I work for I would sometimes write, um, like little things in news newsletters that they had, whatever. Sorry, I was getting a little bit cold out here, but so anyway, I said, Steve, you should have hired me instead. And he replied to that comment and said, are you a prostitute? You shouldn't be advertising your services online. I was like, what? Like, I was really taken back, shocked and furious when he made that comment. Cause I was like, what the fuck? What an asshole thing to say, you piece of shit. What a misogynistic, offensive, disgusting thing to say, especially to someone who has always made really positive comments on all your videos. Again, I followed him on Facebook. Um, when he got married, I, I made a comment congratulating him saying, you know, you have such a beautiful wife, you know, that's amazing. I mean, I have been nothing but positive and uplifting on his channel. And for him to make such a disgusting, disrespectful comment to me, it was very hurtful and it infuriated me. So I contacted him directly um, through Facebook. And, you know, I, I told him, you know, I'm the one that you said is a prostitute. Um, so I guess if a, if a woman says, hey, you can hire me, like she's immediately a prostitute. Is that how misogynistic and disgusting you are? And I told him, you know, your comment was very hurtful. You know, I've written some eBooks and a book and that's why I made that comment. But for you to automatically assume or, or just, you know, comment that I'm, I must be a prostitute because I'm a woman that made that comment is just a disgusting thing to say. And now I despise Steve Shaw. I think he's a piece of shit. But, you know, I contacted him directly and then I moved on from it. You know, it just shows the type of person he is. I know he has a fan base. I know he's um, friends with Alan Roberts. But he's a disgusting person you know there was no reason for him to make that comment and it was very hurtful so it's just an example you know of how to handle something like that that's not you know gonna exacerbate an already horrible situation and i didn't think she handled it with class at all i thought she handled it in a very emotional vengeful manipulative way and she wanted to send hate to Shannon. She wanted it. And I guarantee you when Michael B. Petty was bashing Shannon, when YouTube Underground was bashing Shannon, when all these people were bashing Shannon, she was sitting back enjoying every second of it. Every second. She wanted her to feel more pain and more hatred than she felt. And that to me is not a classy response at all. But had she truly taken the higher ground, nobody would have ever even known that Shannon had made that comment. And also the fact that she made sure not to include the initial comment um, because it was made by a black woman, um, it, she would not have looked as like as much of a victim. Um, and I just feel like, um, again, just the way that people lift her up and idolize her. And again, when she really hasn't, she's made no progress. And she basically has dedicated her channel to just tearing apart Amberlynn and Foodie Beauty. And again, it's not that I have a problem with that, but sorry, guys. There are wild donkeys that 
come onto this property and there's a bunch of donkeys out, a bunch of donkeys walking around the property right now. And they keep following me because hoping that I have carrots for them, but I don't, I don't have anything. Anyway, um, so if you hear that in the background, I apologize. But anyway, um, it's just what it is. It's just, we've just, but my, my, um, general point about bringing her up and life by Jen and, um, even Amber Lynn, you know, the recent weight loss that she's had, which I don't believe for one second that she's lost 50 pounds. I think it's all bullshit. And then she did a second weighing where she actually did show herself weighing, weighing herself. And I guess one scale said 517, one said 519. And people are just in the comment section giving her ass pats and praising her. And it's just, again, I don't understand it. Because it's just people celebrating mediocrity. That people celebrating um, zero progress. People being inspired by people that have done nothing that's inspiring. You know, people supporting people that... Um, are lazy that have no self-discipline like life by jen why do people think she's so wonderful i don't i don't understand it why do people send her money and, and gifts and or whatever you know when she's already sucking the tax day the tax dollars of their money by being on federal disability for being obese and then making doing absolutely nothing to try to improve her situation um I just, I don't understand it. I just, I don't understand why do people celebrate that? What, why, why have our standards gotten so low as to what inspires us, you know? And I get that. And the reason why, you know, I'm not, um, I'm not talking about like Michael B. Petty. Um, like I'm not criticizing him for being an Amberlynn reaction or any of them is because that's what their channel set out to be. Like, <laughs> you know, like it, they never claim to be a weight loss channel or try to inspire people. No, he just, I mean, he's always been very upfront. I'm here to talk shit about Amberlynn and that's it, you know, and, and it's very entertaining. It's funny. I'd watch him over Charlie gold any day. Um, he's much more insightful, much more entertaining He's a lot more fun to watch. Um, so, you know, like he's just, he's never, he's never tried to be any type of inspiration. When Every Damn Day Fitness reached out to Charlie Gold and, and um, she was going to start working with his wife, um, whatever happened with that? We never heard anything about that after. Um, there's, I mean, the thing, Alan Roberts has so many fans and so many people that really adore him. You know how many people would have loved to have seen her working with his wife and the progress she was making and, and, you know, sharing those, sharing that on her channel. I mean, so many people would have really loved to see that. You never heard anything about it again. Not that I know of, you know, if, if she has, if she does regularly talk about it, if she does regularly share it. Um, let me know, you know, I, I personally, I don't follow her on Instagram. So maybe she, maybe she shares that on Instagram. I don't know, but you would think that she would share it on YouTube because that, that's a, that's a platform where you can be more in depth, you know, about your progress or whatever. But, um, but anyway, you know, like, so that, that's why, um, you know, for the other reaction channels, like that's just kind of how they started, but. Um, so I just, again, it's, it's just people celebrate things and are inspired by, by things or other people that have accomplished nothing. And I, I don't get it. And, you know, if, if you guys really want to be inspired by someone or you really want to support somebody, you know, find it, find a YouTube channel of somebody that is making that progress. Um, one channel that I loved was Fat Girl Fed Up. Unfortunately, she hasn't uploaded in a while, uh, but I really loved her channel. Um, you know, channels like Obese to Beast, um, which I know a lot of people follow him already. You know, he's he's someone that really, really um, is deserving, you know, of all the praise that he gets because he truly is an inspiration. He truly is. You know, um, be inspired by someone that went through a horrible childhood and didn't make you know, the, the choice to go to food addiction or didn't go to drugs or alcohol and instead, you know, decided that, that they weren't going to 
allow their adult life to be destroyed because their childhood was horrible. You know, be inspired by somebody like that, you know, or be inspired again. But if somebody, you know, did make those choices and did, did make those, those mistakes and, but now they're really trying to change and, and they you know, they they now live a life of discipline and, and uh, self-control and a life where they respect themselves and are trying to do great things and accomplish great things and, you know, really valuing their health and being grateful for their body and respecting it. You know, f find someone like that. Follow someone like that. Be inspired by someone like that. You know, not someone that's made zero progress, you know, and it's just, and it's just, <laughs> It's, it's just mind boggling to me that there's all this drama and, you know, in uh, zero weight loss <laughs> in this community. It's just, it's just drama. There's no weight loss. You know, there's no weight loss amongst anybody. And I, again, if, if Life by Jen, Amy's Life Journey, uh, Charlie Gold, um, it, uh, Amberlynn's a hopeless case, you know, she, I, I, she's never going to change. She's just going to die. Um, if, if they really, you know, um, focus their channel just on their weight loss, I mean, really we're making the progress and really we're staying away from drama and not, you know, talking about other channels and comparing themselves to other people, whatever. Um, none of this drama would be happening. It wouldn't be happening. They, people would just be seeing progress and weight loss. And it's really a shame because like the last video she did about Charlie, that Charlie did on her weight loss only got uh, 37,000 views. I mean, which is significant, you know, but I'm, I'm in comparison to her Amber Lynn videos where she gets 100,000 plus views. It just shows how much people that follow her don't care about her weight loss. All they care about is watching her talk shit about Amber Lynn. And... There's nothing wrong, you know, with enjoying um, a channel that talks about Amber Lynn or Chantel or, you know, makes fun. There's, I mean, honestly, there's nothing wrong with it because, again, they are horrible, disgusting people. And I'm the type of person, I, I say they deserve all the hate they get. I don't care if they're bullied. I don't care if someone calls them a fat pig, a cow, whatever, because they're awful, horrible people. And that's just what, the, what they put out is what they're getting back. So, um, again, I'm not saying there's, there's anything wrong with um you know watching those reaction channels but those reaction channels that that's the category that they're in they're reaction channels and that's it there's nothing inspiring about them there's nothing to look up to with them there's not you know like at least not for me you know again i love to watch a mike michael b petty video it's, it's hilarious it's entertaining but i don't look up to him i'm not inspired by him um I'm just not, you know, but I enjoy watching his content. You know, I, I I mean, somebody that I would look up to would be like Jeff Cavalier, you know, from Athlean X. Um, he's got an amazing channel. I wish I could have a channel like that. Um, you know, that's someone that, that I look up to and, and I admire, um, you know, like that's, I mean, it's, it's, I don't look up to anybody that does reaction channels. Like, because that's, I mean, you know, they their whole channel is based on criticizing and making fun of someone. And that's not inspiring to me. It's entertaining to me. It's funny to me. Um, I, I don't, I don't um, bash them for that. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I, I'm not throwing hate at them for that. I, I love that they have those kind of channels because again, it's, it entertains me. Um, but they don't inspire me. They're not people that I look up to. You know, but if you guys are going to have people that you're inspired by, you look up to, I mean, let it be someone that really is accomplishing great things in life. Let it be someone that has a channel that is, that, that really is positive. You know, let it be someone like Jeff Cavalier, you know, whose whole channel is based on helping people achieve their goals. You know, let it be someone like that. Let, let those types of people be who you look up to and you're inspired by, you know, not people that have channels that are strictly based on criticizing and making fun of someone and calling someone pig mad or what, I mean, that's not someone that inspires me, you know? Um, so that's basically, I guess my, just the overall, uh, message, I guess that I wanted to give today. Um, it, and it isn't even specifically targeted towards Charlie Gold or life by Jen. It's, it's just, again, just the, the general, 
um, mindset of, of a lot of people that, that, that follow people that, um, you know, really haven't done anything, um, inspiring or amazing in life. It really haven't, um, accomplished anything that's, that's, that, you know, I, I feel is, is worthy of praise, you know, um, not, not enough for me to say I, I'm inspired by them. I'd like to be like them, you know, but those are just my thoughts, but it's getting cold. I think Joey's cold too. So, all right, guys. Um, I wish I could say that I'm going to be uploading, you know, exercise video or something soon, but I just don't know. Um, again, my health has just not been good. My sleeping schedule has been horrible and there's, you know, other, um, life situations we're dealing with right now. Um, with my husband getting his license and it's just, anyway, I'm not going to get into all that because it's boring. You know, you guys don't want to hear about that, but anyway, there's just a lot of stuff that's, um, we're just trying to, um, get together, you know, and, and once I guess my life is in a more stable, better place, which we're working on, of course, um, I do want to get back to doing those types of videos. Um, so, all right, guys. So um, those are my thoughts. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Again, I know there's a lot of people that, um, you know, support Charlie Gold and Life by Jen. <laughs> you know, but th that's my that's my perspective on them. Um, so, okay. So remember, take care of yourself. Protect yourself physically and emotionally. And don't forget, your health is your most valuable asset. Invest in it. Bye-bye.